Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Geography with me Stephen Doyle. Each week I'll be uploading a 5 minute video explaining as simply as possible the world around us. Today in 5 Minute Geography we look at how powerful and devastating a lahar eruption can be. Stick around to the end of the video for a strange fact about volcanoes that's kinda hard to believe. While volcanic activity provides many advantages, volcanoes remain a dangerous force of nature. Volcanoes can cause large-scale destruction and death. One of the most devastating losses of life from volcanic activity occurred in the Colombian town of Almero in 1985. The eruption of Nevada del Ruiz in Colombia in 1985 melted ice and snow on the mountain. This resulted in a mud flow or a lahar. Standing at 5,389 meters, it is the highest volcano in Colombia. Due to its height, its peak is covered with snow and ice, which increases the chance of generating lahars. On the 13th of November 1985, Nevada del Ruiz erupted violently, sending huge volumes of ash and pumice into the air. This ash began to rain down on the town of Amero almost immediately. However, this did not cause any alarm for the town's residents. Both the town mayor and the local priest announced over loudspeakers that there was no need to evacuate the town and that the residents were in no danger. Despite this, the Red Cross ordered an evacuation shortly after the eruption, which was actually called off once the ash stopped falling. The heat from the pyroclast and lava ejected during this eruption began to melt the 25 km squared area of snow and ice that lay on the peak of the volcano. Bad weather meant that the town's residents were unable to see the mountain clearly. As the pyroclast mixed with the water from the melted snow, it formed a river of boiling hot mud. This boiling hot mud is known as a lahar. Travelling at over 50 km an hour, the lahar burst through the upstream dam and submerged Amero in over 2 meters of mud. Just two hours after the eruption began, over 23,000 people were killed and another 4,500 were seriously injured. As well as the loss of life, the damage caused by the lahar was estimated to be 1 billion US dollars. The big question is, could this have been avoided? Well, what we know now is that a number of failures led to the devastating loss of life in Amero. For nearly a year prior to the eruption, Nevada del Ruiz had experienced several earthquakes and minor eruptions. Despite the townspeople being nervous about the volcano, they were not fully convinced that it was an immediate danger to their lives. Colombia had neither the technology nor the skilled geologists to properly monitor the volcano. As a result, they depended on experts from other countries to study the volcano. A report carried out by a number of scientists concluded that even a relatively small eruption would produce a 100% chance of mud flow. Only 10 copies of the report were made and it was widely dismissed as being too cautious. The eruption of Nevada del Ruiz in Colombia in 1985 melted ice and snow on the mountain. This resulted in a mud flow or a lahar that buried several villages and killed over 21,000 people. Olympus Mons is the largest volcano known to man and is located on the planet Mars. The volcano has a height of nearly 22 kilometers and is about two and a half times the size of Mount Everest. As always, I've been Stephen Doyle with 5 Minute Geography. Please hit the like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you'd like me to cover a specific topic, please just pop it in the comment section below.